welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing my kind of everyday drugstore makeup. I want to also make sure that it's sweat proof with this weather because if I don't have the right makeup I can look oily as hell because I don't know I just sweat a lot here and on my forehead sometimes. So yeah I'm just going to show you what I've been loving lately that is drugstore. I've got some good bits, some that I knew some that I had before but I know I recently discovered and I've been using a lot. Anyways, we'll just jump on it, shall we? I'm gonna do my post notification shout out today. And today's one goes to Atia X. Thank you so much for your comment. If you guys want to have one next time, all you have to do is subscribe, press that bell button, and then let me know when you have done so in the comments below. Alright, so let's just jump into it. I already have my um moisturizer on. I'm gonna use my NYX Honey Dew Me Up primer this stuff is just so so good it's, it is really really goopy so just be aware of that it's very stringy it's so weird and you don't need too much of this stuff my skin is kind of like dry combination so it hydrates but it makes my sure my makeup stays in place if you are very oily then maybe try the nyx total control primer it's a white one in the same dropper bottle and that one's really it kind of dries me out but if you're oily you're gonna love that so now we're gonna go on to a foundation and i have been loving the laurel pro glow foundation i use the shade caramel beige it's almost finished like this is so good it is a radiant finish where it wears up to 24 hours i've worn this over 12 hours and it stayed on pretty well the coverage is medium and texture is air light and it's just so so lightweight and i think this is why i love it for summer and this weather because we've been hitting like 34 35 degrees in the uk and that is a lot for me okay and we don't even have any air conditioning because most of the time it's rainy in this country so i ain't prepared i've got a fan that's running 24 7 which ain't good for the environment but i won't survive i won't survive with this heat but anyways this is so good especially abnormal to dry skin if you are more on the oily side i would recommend the nyx total control foundation that foundation is another drugstore favorite of mine so yeah i give it a good shake and then i just kind of like do a big drop like that my skin has been a little bit bumpy lately but probably doesn't look like it on camera like the lights don't be deceived the lights just makes everything look smooth. I'm just using a stippling brush just to roughly blend this out. I don't use too much. Don't forget down your neck. And I also put some down here but I'm, I'm not going anywhere today so I can't bother to do that. But make sure you do your decolletage area because uh, just sometimes don't match. But it matches, it's fine, it's all good. Okay, then we're going to jump onto concealer. I have been using these ever since I got them. They've become a favourite of mine because of the weather recently and they're just so lightweight and it does the job and it works really good. Um, but I just hope they come out with more shades. But it's the Makeup Revolution Fast Base Concealers. I use C12 under my eyes and to highlight and then I use C which one's this one? C thirteen to kind of use as a bronzer and then um I use C sixteen to kind of darken it up. Some other drugstore concealers that I really really love are the EX1 Delete Fluid Concealer. I think is what it's called. I use shade A and 13 I believe and I mix the two but I'm normally 11 so I'm just waiting for that shade. The finish is really nice. Um, a bit more on the fuller coverage side and a bit more heavier than this one. I think this one, this is why I'm leaning more towards this one, the Makeup Revolution one. Um, and then another one that I really like is the uh, Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealers, which is much more for coverage, but it's more for like heavy makeup. You can use it if you've got really, really dark circles, because again, if you have really dark circles, you might not like this. It works fine for me. So those are two other ones that are very good coverage. But they're, they're okay, they're a bit more on the fuller side, but you know, it works really well and they're very good concealers. But because I want something that's very lightweight, I'm going to go for this one today. So you literally just twist up the product, you just apply it on your eyes. Okay. 
And then I just take my damp beauty blender and blend that out. Just blend so effortlessly and does the job. That's all I need on a day-to-day -day basis. I went Thought Park yesterday and believe me, it was a nice day, but it was a long hours day. And we were in the queues under the sun, we were like boiling and my makeup held up all day long and this is what I wore, so. Some things might be different, like my highlight and things like that. I will talk about the highlight I wore yesterday, it was so beautiful, like in the sun it just looked beaming and it's a bit more on the glittery side, but I don't know, I kind of liked it. What I always do is, I can't, because I want a bit more coverage, this concealer is buildable, I just put a bit more in the corner here and I just blending that out to be honest on a day-to-day -day basis i don't wear eyeshadow you can do a light wash of eyeshadow but this is just a realistic kind of everyday makeup drugstore thing i just don't wear eyeshadow just most of the time i don't have time and i'm just like all or nothing kind of thing with eyeshadow i don't like sometimes i do wear something simple but most of the time I just, if I know I, can't, I don't have time to do something that's minimum, like, you know, kind of like sh crease and then lid colour and all that stuff, I just won't put anything on my lids, which is a bit weird. Before I wasn't like this, I would just put a whole cream eyeshadow all over. <sighs> Maybe it's because they're all upstairs and I do my makeup downstairs anymore. And now, I don't know. Anyways, I'm going to go in with C13. Just put that all over. And I'm trying to mix C16 in with that. And I use again a stippling brush. This makeup makeup look is very easy to do as well. Like very quick. I do go in with my beauty blender just to kind of make everything diffuse together, not look too like harsh and patchy. You just want everything to blend together. Just before I finish, I'm just going to take another stippling brush. I know when I use creams, I just use a bunch of stippling brushes. I'm going to use this Snip and Fab stick in Watermelon. It's their new blush sticks and I just take my brush, put a little bit like that. And I just kind of work that into my cheeks. And I just finish off with the beauty blender. To set my under eyes, I've been using this LA Girl Pro Contour Powder and Highlight in the shade, in the shade Tan. And I use this with my beauty blender. And I just kind of... Press that underneath my eyes. This is super mattifying and it just does the job. To be honest, like some days when I don't really care if it's all drugstore, like I do really, really like the new Huda Beauty powders. Like they make my under eyes and look flawless. It makes me stay like controlled and matte throughout the day. I just love the her powders so much. Okay, so now for highlight, I'm going to use this Strobe of Genius palette by NYX. And I've been using this shade right here recently. Is it focused? It's like a really pretty gold shade. I'll just show it to you guys. I put some on my brush and I do like to wet it with some setting spray. Okay, so that's my highlight, so beautiful. And then finally, I think this has been really helping with my makeup. It's the Nip and Fab Mattifying Fixing Mist. I'll just spritz this all over my face. For lashes, I literally just put a mascara on a day-to-day -day basis. So, um, the mascara that I've been using is a high-end one on a daily basis, but 
I'm gonna do a separate video on that because that mascara is so good. Like I've been getting so many compliments every time I wear it. Like it's just so good. But anyways, I'm gonna use one of my drugstore favorites, and it's the Mega Volume Miss Baby Roll Mascara by L'Oreal. This is what it looks like. Just wiggle it through your lashes. Okay, so I just let it dry for a bit and then I put a second layer, but in the meantime, I'm going to quickly do my lip. I love this uh, Slay All Day Lottie London Liquid Lipstick Emboss. I've also been loving NYX Cosmic Metals, um, what is this, lip cream in celestial this is so good as a lip topper and i just put a little bit on the top here all right guys so this is the final look i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know in the comments below what other videos you want me to do and by the way i need to show you guys this this candy is so good it's cherry and chili um pop rocks kind of like the ones that pop in your mouth it's just the best thing ever it's so yum but anyways that's what i just quickly mentioned that i hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you in my next one bye